Zatanna, bring down the house, issue number five. That's right, folks, it's the finale to Zatanna, bring down the house. And my goodness, is this book a lot of fun. This might be the best looking issue of the run, which is saying a lot because this book has been gorgeous. Now, Javier Rodriguez, I, I believe he's tapped on now to do Absolute Martian Manhunter, right? Is that his next project? That's so cool. You see this book and you're like, oh man, you've got to do more of this guy. The colors, the paneling, it is breathtaking. It is breathtaking. This book is crazy gorgeous to look at. I really dig it. And this one is so esoteric and crazy. I don't even know how to like describe it. Like the first page, it starts off with like two colors, red and blue. One is Zatanna, one is the stranger. And they start going from like dots to concepts to spheres to letters to people because they've entered into a new reality because they're going to go fight Zatara. And they start heading down through like a cloud into like an old village. They like crash into stuff. They become normal civilians. Zatanna becomes like a kid again because Zatara is trying to trap her in her own mind where she was her weakest. It's incredible. They end up in her childhood bedroom. Everything is torched and colorless. Then they enter into like the weird laboratory of Zatara and suddenly everything is filled with color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous and pulpy and awesome. This is going to look so good of Martian Manhunter. Oh my goodness. I'm very excited for that. It's incredible what they're looking at. They keep heading down another into like the woods, the woods where the thing happened with Zatara and Zatanna where uh, he tried to take all the power from her and it banished him into like a weird place. It's incredible to look at. And it's just two characters with great chemistry having a lot of fun here. They end up in like the location. It's like a weird spiraling circle. And Stranger's like, you just gotta do what you did at the casino and then everything will work out. So try using your magic, okay? I'll write down some enchantments. You try to use them. So... She is going to try using her magic. Return father. Well, you get a tax return. Bring him to me. Well, you bring the wrong person to me. Reveal yourself. Make some mirror. It's not really working. They're all done in multiple colors. It is so gorgeous. When she says arise, it finally works and it summons something. The spiral starts to like turn into a bright color. Light starts to project from it. And then like a big head emerges from it. And like vomits out demon knee creatures that are just, I can't even describe what I'm looking at. It is just spectacular and colorful and the greatest thing you've ever seen. It is so cool. It is so cool. Like a big mouth, hands emerge from it, creatures start flying out and then they have to fight them. And Zatanna's like, I don't know how to fight these things. You fought things in a casino. You're good. Just keep trying. So eventually she starts to understand how to master her magic she can say right things make the demon little makes the demon little crushes in her hands turns into like a popsicle or a baseball and stuff dice for shooting you know into a mouse just making them into random stuff it is incredible and the stranger is like holy crap you're doing really good at this what is happening you're you just turned them all into like things i was fighting them with like a sword you made them into like a jukebox <laughs> crazy i really dig it but there's more stuff attacking them and more bright colors and everything's great so zatanna like summons a bunch of bunnies to fall from the sky like i don't know arrows in like a war and kill the troops it, it's it's insane it's insane how gorgeous this book looks it's so spectacular i'm such a fan of it so they they break it and then like a weird hand just like emerge from like the ground and it pulls Zatanna deeper into the darkness and then she like winds up in like an upside down world and this is where we are revealed to Zatara and the Zatara stuff is it's next level incredible like it is so scary it's jagged lines his speech bubbles are in like a very weird pink hue with different colors radiating through it the light turns yellow and everything very susical he's got like a long cape and his face is constantly changing shape like it's a bunch of eyeballs or it's like a picasso painting or just like a skeleton watching her crazy who comes up with that like that is awesome i could never come up with like these type of designs in my life it's so gorgeous he's like huh i try to protect you from yourself i want to take the power you had and give it to me because i knew you were capable of destroying everything 
All that power is too deadly for a girl like you. And look what it did. Look what I got. Look what happened to me for trying to be a good dad. And she's like, are you kidding me with that crap? That's stupid. Just say the words again, Zatanna, and I'll take the power back from you. It's that easy. So he's trying to convince her like he did when she was younger. But she's like, no, it ain't going to work this time. So now she reverses the power and fights back. He can't do it again. She is stronger than him. She's better than him. And I, I'm, I'm just blown away by the artwork of like cutting between the past and the present. The way his face just keeps changing form. Nosferatu adjacent at times. It's crazy. Just like abstractionist art. And he like morphs into nothingness. And eventually she just gets more powerful than him and takes him away. There's nothing more of Zatara. She is stronger than him takes his power and he'll never be able to take it from her again that is how powerful she is she can do the thing that no magic user is allowed to do and makes it makes herself stronger because of it and that's pretty dang cool if you ask me so she did it she locked him away she says the magic words that he tried to make her say traps him into like a little rainbow blows him to dust and it's over now she solved it she beat her father she's happy she's healthy she is full on magic now That that's it that plot is resolved. We get the denouement right after that. She says the words, gets rid of her father. We cut two days later, and we're back in Vegas, and her show is, like, going larger and larger because now she's in a nicer hotel, has a show called Zatanna's Magic Moments, and her ex is just, like, sitting in a cafe, just enjoying his time, looking at a magazine about her, and we see Zatanna's talking to the bunny, and she's like, hey, so... You're happy with this? Like, you, you got a show in Vegas, and you're, like, a part-time job, like, working for the Celestials. And she's like, eh, it's all good. I'm a freelancer for the Celestial, though. Like, I, I'm good, you know? I like this other job more. She's like, uh-huh, sure, a freelancer. I get it. Right. But Zatanna's got a show she's got to get to. So she is going to skedaddle out of there, head right to work, and get on stage to do something pretty fun. And, look, this book ends just how we opened it up which is Zatanna going on stage. So she's about to do a better show this time, folks. This is Zatanna's magic moment. She whips out her hats. Some rabbits start to fall through it. She's very powerful. We see two figures watching from the sidelines as Zatanna's doing her acts. Like, so she does magic. Oh, she's very powerful. And like the stagehand's like, did you want to attend the show? They're like, no, we're fine. We'll see her after the show. We also see that the stranger is watching the show like from the stats just like oh this will be good see what she's doing that's really fun if you're like a magic being do you get anything from watching people on stage i guess it's about theatrics and zatanna has theatrics up the wazoo so the stage hand like is like okay well there's people waiting for you backstage do you want to talk to them she's like huh okay well i guess so it's kind of i don't know who they are or anything but you know Nothing wrong with, like, a weird and unexpected visitor. Right? Batman and Wonder Woman. <laughs> so Batman and Wonder Woman show up in the last page of this book, and they're like, hey, um, do you want to join the Justice League? We saw your act, and we're like, we need some cool Vegas magic in our lives. And she's like, eh, I guess I could do that. Winks to the camera. End of book. Oh, man. That's awesome. Like, I think this is my favorite issue of the book, just with like the colors and the palette changes and the way we just change the art style too. And then it's ending with like the wink and the nod to like, eh, I'm kind of magic. It's kind of cool. It's so much fun. It is so much fun and it looks so good. I have a great time with this book every time it came out. I'm so glad we got a Zatanna miniseries through Black Label, just letting us go a little bit crazy in different directions with the character. You wouldn't normally expect like this, but I'm glad we did it. Hopefully this means she can like, Get another book again soon. I like that. Has she led an ongoing? When was the last time she had an ongoing? It's been, was it Paul Dini? Was that the last time? That wasn't Justice League Dark. I don't know. This was so much fun. And it looks so good. And just having like the wrap up of like, we're doing another show, but this time it's better. And then the cool heroes want to meet her. Like, that's sick. That's really cool. A lot of fun. Glad this happened. And she beat her dad. And she fought some weird demon creature things. That's pretty sick. Gotta say, that's pretty sick. So, Zatanna, Bring Down the House, issue number five. 
I am going to give an 8 out of 10. Now, thank you all for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And of course, I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.